I'd like to share a little Pear Deck hack that works really well in my classroom. So I love Pear Deck. I love that it makes my students more engaged and, and, and class becomes more interactive. So it's doing that very well. But I don't want kids to be just looking at the screen all the time. I want them doing something more active. For example, I send them a PDF of their notes and I want them using the Kami PDF annotator to be taking notes. So I don't want them having Pear Deck up in front of them all the time, but I want it there some of the time. So here's my hack. I'm just going to do a quick little demo for you. So I'm in class and let's say it's time for some notes on campaign finance. And so what I do is um, I have some slides here about campaign finance and my students on a slide like this are actually, they have a PDF open and they're annotating what we're talking about as we go through these notes. And when we get to a slide like this, I've given myself a little cue here that I have a little pair that means that there's a little pair deck activity. Then I tell the students, okay guys, click away from your PDF annotator, go to the tab right next door where they've already logged into Pear Deck, and now they can do the interactive activity on Pear Deck. As soon as we're done with that interactivity, I switch back over to my Google presentation and I advance, and I go until, again, I have another Pear Deck. My students switch over and they do their PDF annotation, but when they see the pair, they know it's time to flip back over and I'll advance the slide and then we're going to do the next interactive where students will type in an answer to the question. Um, I'm happy to share more with this hack with you uh, if you stop by the Chrome corner, but that's the essential bits of it. Put that little pair in the corner, which is your cue to yourself that there is a special Pear Deck activity. Thanks for listening.